Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be fitting what I'm going to call stealth rails. It's a twin rail system on this van, as it's a twin slider. would enable you to have two awning rails and two awnings. So if any of you guys out there watching any of you guys out there watching has got a twin slider as well and thinking about going for the pop top the awning rails are fitted on here are hidden under the pop top he has no clue what he's doing neither do I really thanks for watching I hope you find this video useful this is Tom this is T-Dubs and this is going to be my twin awning rail setup I'm actually calling these the stealth rails um, because they're going to be mounted um, right close to the channel here which means they'll be hidden when the roof's shut. I'm going to use this point here so right at the back of the van as the um, lining up points are the same on the other side and then there's going to be a central point around here somewhere where obviously the two um, parts to the awning rails meet um, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue and screw so first of all we're going to add the glue and what we're going to do to add the glue is to go over all of the holes so in order for them to be a nice water seal as well we're going to use the glue um, to help us with that It's the same sort of glue that you use to put the windows in. If you do get any of this on the paintwork, don't panic, don't try and scrape it off. You can actually use like white spirits and that will take it off. So don't panic. And also my advice to you would to, when removing the glue off the van, is to let it get a little tacky because um, you'll find that the cloth will just spread it around if it's still wet. So let it get a bit tacky before you try and remove it. So let's just lift this into place. Okay. Just checks right on that channel. Okay. Now if I just spin you over the other side, and you can see there, it needs to fit flush against this channel here for in order for it to hide underneath the actual awning itself when, the, uh, sorry, for it to hide underneath the roof when the roof is shut. Right, so what we're gonna do now is drill some holes in all of the holes, and then I'm gonna use a little screw just to hold it in place. Right, I'm literally just using a 2.5 mil drill bit. And we just wanna pierce a hole through. I wanna do there. 
and here. I'm going to get those two screwed in so I know that it's lined up and it's not going to move anywhere. I'm using the small self tapping screws. <laughs> Fiddly. Actually doing this one handed for some strange reason. Right, that you use to do your windows with. Okay, so you'll see now that the glue has just spilled out slightly. Let me just point you down here. I'm not going to panic about removing that yet, because if I do, it will just spread and go even worse than what it actually is. So, next screw is going to go just in here. In. Okay, now I'm just going to work my way along, drill, put a screw in, drill, put a screw in, drill, put a screw in, and then I'll show you right at the very end, uh, because you obviously haven't got a great deal of room down there. So for the ones down the end here, I'm literally using a really small head. Uh, on the top of my drill here. And the moment it bites, I stop and then sadly I have to do the rest by hand. So here we go. Got my bit, got my screwdriver, and I can get this bit. Again, it's quite tricky to get to. Put my drill bit in. You can see it's literally, well, it's not a drill bit, it's a tiny head. Phillips head. It's just poking out. Now, I can just about get my drill round and on here for me to be able to just tweak it in. And again, you've got to do the rest up by hand. Which is easier said than done. Right. Happy days. Now that glue it's had enough time to um, get all tacky, um, so I'm just going to literally wipe over it quickly with the white spirit and just show you how simple it is just to remove it, because it is all on my fingers and I don't want to get it anywhere else on the van particularly. Okay, I've got the white spirit on the towel. And I'm just going across the van removing the glue that's spurted out over the edge and I'll just do the back side just to keep it nice and tidy right so that's the rear awning rail blah, blah. that's the rear awning rail on. All that's left for me to do now is to put the front part on. Now for the front one. <coughs> so same principles apply or same thing applies to this one. I've put the glue where the holes are and all I'm going to do now is drill and screw and then when the glue's gone off a bit and it's become a bit more tacky, I'll be able to wipe it off.
mention much about these screws. This is my spares bag for my curtains. And it's got, I'll hold one up for you, these tiny little screws which work wonders because they fit through the top hole and they sink nicely into the next bit which is well handy there you go brought them off ebay um, they came as a pack of four and I believe I'm just going to get under here because it's a couple of little spots of rain um, I believe um, 30 quid I think pack of four uh, free postage so that's happy days um, right what have I got to do now say thanks and goodbye <laughs> so that's it for this video I have put on some stealth awning rails either side of the van super happy they were super easy to put on to be fair and that's it guys massive thank you for watching the video huge thank you for subscribing even bigger thank you for hitting the thumbs up button i will see you in the next video when i'll be showing you round the van and putting her up for sale so this is tom this is t-dubs thanks for watching guys stay safe and i'll see you all soon